please tell us a little bit about sleep apnea, what it is, how it's diagnosed, and what can patients do about it? Well, sleep apnea is when a person stops, literally stops breathing while they're sleeping. And a lot of people have the symptoms, but they don't really know what it is. You have, you know, you think, oh, I've got a dry mouth because I'm sleeping with my mouth open. Or I have a headache and I don't know why I have a headache or I still feel tired. Even after I've had eight hours of sleep, I sit down in front of the TV and the next thing I know it's two hours later. I get sleepy when I'm driving. So if, you know, you maybe ask your doctor about these symptoms, uh, your doctor may recommend to have a sleep study done. You go to sleep study center. Uh, they're very, very comfortable. In my, when I went, it was very, very comfortable, um, nice lighting, a very comfortable bed, um, very nicely furnished room, very quiet, and they put all these monitors on your head and on your body and stuff, but they're not at all uncomfortable. You're given the freedom to turn on your bed, on your bed, lay on your side, lay on your stomach, whichever way you sleep, and they, come, they monitor you overnight. Um, depending on the results, they can tell you how long you go without breathing while you're asleep. And it's very astonishing to realize how actually long you go without breathing and you still wake up the next morning. So then you, you know, you get a prescription for, uh, you know, the apnea monitor and you set it up at home. They, they teach you how to use it. They measure you for your mask. Um, at first, it was kind of difficult getting used to the mask. I'm not claustrophobic, but I just, you know, I just don't like anything on my face. And I'm a, a sight sleeper, so they kind of work with me on doing that and use it every night. Um, the nights that, for, for whatever reason, I haven't been able to use it, I don't, I don't feel very rested, very rested the next morning. I still feel sluggish, I still feel tired. I do wake up with a slight headache, and I can tell the difference. Um, it's also improved my memory. Uh, it's also improved my, you know, my behavior at home. I'm, I'm a nicer mom now, a nicer wife. I'm not like, yeah, snarling because I'm tired. So it, it's, it's very important that people with diabetes, because a lot of us tend to be overweight, get checked for, have a sleep apnea study done. And it, it's worth it. It sounds scary, but it, it really isn't. It's not at all uncomfortable. Not at all intrusive, and it's very private. Uh, sometimes it might even come to your home. It depends on uh, what you know center you use. So it, it's it's worth getting it done. It's worth getting tested.